The real reason apple cider vinegar helps with weight loss and one warning. The most important aspect of apple cider vinegar is assistance with blood sugar management. So we know that apple cider vinegar may help with reducing blood sugar spikes, improving blood sugar response to food and improving insulin sensitivity. Maintaining optimal blood sugar can be a key factor in helping maintain not only metabolic health, but also supporting healthy weight loss. Blood sugar spikes and crashes can lead to cravings. We call it hyperphagia and overeating, especially sugary or carb dense foods of the processed variety. Additionally, insulin spikes can inhibit proper fat breakdown or lipolysis. Stable blood sugar levels can enhance insulin sensitivity, which allows your cells to process glucose more effectively and prevent the storage of excess glucose as fat. In a systematic review and meta-analysis of nine randomized clinical trials on apple cider vinegar's effects, on lipid profiles and glycemic parameters found that apple cider vinegar consumption significantly decreased serum total cholesterol, fasting plasma glucose, and a hemoglobin A1C concentration. We know the effect of apple cider vinegar on lipid profiles and glycemic parameters showed a systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized clinical trials. Hemoglobin A1C is a marker of long-term blood sugar control, typically over 90 days. It's not my favorite test, but it is a test that has some utility. The decrease in hemoglobin A1C concentrations indicates that apple cider vinegar might help improve glycemic control over time. In those with long-term elevated blood glucose levels, it can impact your body's sensitivity to the hormone insulin and create insulin resistance, making weight loss even more challenging. We know a reduced fasting plasma glucose, which or your glucose levels after fasting suggests that apple cider vinegar may have a positive impact on blood sugar control, which is certainly important for weight management and overall health. And if you wanna know, my preferred fasting blood sugar or fasting glucose is between 70 and 85, that's gold standard. Apple cider vinegar can help stabilize blood sugar levels and can help prevent energy crashes and excessive hunger making it easier to manage caloric intake. Apple cider vinegar has also shown some promise in decreasing appetite, helping with weight loss. In one study, the short-term interventions indicated that vinegar containing at least 24.6 milliosmoles of acetic acid when consumed alongside a meal containing solid food, acutely suppressed appetite up to 120 minutes postprandially. Postprandially just means after the meal. And ad libitum food intake three and 24 hours after vinegar consumption. Ad libitum means eating when you want. So it has an effect after the meal and three to 24 hours post vinegar consumption. When we look specifically at decreased appetite measures, we believe that the decreased appetite related to apple cider vinegar consumption is most likely due to its ability to help manage and stabilize blood sugar or blood glucose levels. As discussed, stable blood sugar means less cravings and more satiation, naturally decreasing appetite, which also improves digestion and improves the gut microbiota. We also know that acetic acid like apple cider vinegar may help raise stomach acid levels, which also helps digestion. We also know that having therapeutic levels of stomach acid or hydrochloric acid is very important for helping to break down protein, which as you know, is one of these critically important macros, especially as we are transitioning into perimenopause and beyond. When you consume acetic acid, it can stimulate the cells in your stomach lining. These are called the parietal cells to produce more hydrochloric acid. And as I stated before, adequate hydrochloric acid, AKA stomach acid is essential for breaking down food, particularly protein and for activating digestive enzymes. Hydrochloric acid is important for its antimicrobial properties. So this is a first line of defense. If you eat you know, a pathogen, it can help kill bacteria, parasites, et cetera, in the stomach and the intestines. In one study, it highlighted that apple cider vinegar has some antimicrobial properties as it demonstrated the capacity to inhibit the growth of several microorganisms, including E. coli, Staph aureus, and Candida albicans. Results were expressed as a percentage decrease in cytokine secretion, 
comparing apple cider vinegar treated with non-apple cider vinegar, treated monocytes, cultured with E. coli, Staph aureus, and Candida albicans. And we've linked all these research articles so you can take a look at them yourself. The antimicrobial activity of apple cider vinegar against E. coli, Staph aureus, and Candida albicans is important for helping to downregulate cytokine production and microbial protein expression. The antimicrobial properties can help by selectively targeting harmful bacteria, viruses, and fungi among your gut microbiota in the digestive tract. Your gut microbiota, also known as gut flora or gut microbiome, really refers to the community of microorganisms that live in your digestive tract. They're there to be our helpers and our friends. They predominantly reside in the intestines, and this community consists of trillions of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other microbes. We know that good gut bacteria help break down complex carbohydrates, produce enzymes, and aid in the digestion and absorption of nutrients. The gut microbiota also plays a role in energy extraction from food and can influence metabolic processes, including fat storage and glucose regulation. Not only will it act to help eradicate bad bacteria, some contain probiotics. So look for apple cider vinegar with the mother, which is the protein. So I'm going to provide some of my favorite ways to incorporate apple cider vinegar into your lifestyle and maintain your sanity. I'm interrupting this video so that I can tell you about my three ways you are sabotaging your weight loss and fat loss. It's a great guide. You can click the link below and grab it now. Super helpful to try to determine what is going on that is contributing to weight loss plateaus and weight loss resistance. So incorporating apple cider vinegar into your daily routine can be done in several ways. One popular method is to mix one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with a glass of water. And it's completely optional whether or not you add honey or lemon for flavor. I would encourage the lemon over the honey and drinking it before a meal. You can also use apple cider vinegar as a base for homemade salad dressings. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. Add it to your morning smoothie or include it for in marinades for meat or fish or poultry. To get the maximum benefits of apple cider vinegar, ensure you're using it with the mother. Again, this is this protein component. Companies like Bragg's have nice options or Willie's, which is based out of the UK. The mother is a collection of beneficial bacteria and acetic acid producing microbes along with enzymes and proteins similar to a sourdough mother. Again, because it has protein in it, save it for your feeding window. If the taste of apple cider vinegar is unappealing, you can opt for apple cider vinegar supplements in the form of capsules. I think that Paleo Valley makes a really nice option. I would avoid gummies because they're sugary and I think most, if not all of us, need less sugar in our lives. You wanna remember to start with a small amount and gradually increase it as your body adjusts. And keep in mind that apple cider vinegar is acidic, so always dilute it and use a straw. I'm very proactive about my teeth, and I think that with the amount of friends that are dentists, they would advise the same. I also think it's important to know you won't lose weight simply by taking apple cider vinegar. It is a secondary strategy that can help maximize the efficiency of other weight loss mechanisms. So don't just do that and then eat a highly processed, hyper palatable diet and be a couch potato. You need to do a variety of things. In one study, it showed that apple cider vinegar consumption alongside a restricted calorie diet can decrease appetite, body weight, body mass index, hip circumference, plasma triglycerides, total cholesterol, and also increase HDL, which is considered to be the old school healthy uh, cholesterol level in overweight or obese subjects. We know the beneficial effects of apple cider vinegar on weight management and visceral adiposity indexes and lipid profile in overweight or obese subjects receiving restricted calorie diets in a randomized clinical trial. While apple cider vinegar can offer some potential benefits related to weight loss, it should be used as part of a comprehensive strategy that includes if fasting is for you, intermittent fasting, a balanced, nutrient-dense whole foods diet, regular physical activity, and other healthy lifestyle choices. I always talk about high quality sleep. I talk about stress management, and if appropriate for you, a little bit of HRT. Hey, if you like this video, you guys are gonna love this video, and I'll see you there.